right. Hello and welcome to Beyond Reproach. This is Tux Lurzel. And Stephanie Domingo. I am coming to you from Detroit, Michigan, where I'm recording on land belonging to the Ojibwe, Ottawa, Potawatomi, and Wyandotte Nations. And I am coming to you from North Canton, Ohio, where I'm recording on land belonging to the Kaskaskia peoples. Woo-hoo. I'm back on native land, baby. Yes. <laughs> where I belong. <clears throat> on the bones of natives (laughs) (laughs) i saw some meme the other day about like all the horrible things that are happening in the united states right now like all these horrible weather patterns and like shootings and blah 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 yes ron DeSantis, and it was like it's almost as if this whole country is just built on a bunch of indian burial grounds Ah, oh my god hilarious (laughs) yeah wow (laughs) <sighs> oh us oh us yeah. yeah i see that that raggedy lion ass bitch is still in congress i thought they were gonna vote him out i like a fool thought that they would do the right thing <clears throat> yeah no the republicans were like it's a bad look right for them thing. i mean yeah what isn't a bad look for them they don't care I mean, Marjorie Taylor Greene just, they were, I don't even know what it was for, but they were doing some kind of fundraiser and she just paid a hundred thousand dollars for a used chapstick. Um, Kevin McCarthy's chapstick. What? Yeah. To like raise money for something or other. Okay. Didn't she get PP loans? Okay. <laughs> make it make sense. Maybe she'll friends. pay with that. <sighs> yeah. And Ronnie, uh, Ronnie D, <laughs> also known as Rhonda. Ha, <laughs> Rhonda. <laughs> Rhonda Santis. I um, love that, but it makes him <laughs> sound cooler than he is. Like he's like yeah. a, an amazing drag queen pretending yeah. to be him. <laughs> if only. If only. But yeah, Rhonda officially announced her presidency today. Okay. Okay, if, bitch. You're yeah. not Trump. Like. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're, tr- you're trying to be <clears throat> Trump. I've gone back and forth and back and forth on Me like too. whether or not he's more terrifying or less he, terrifying. Than he Trump. is more terrifying, I think. I don't. Yeah, they're both so bad. But he's doing really, really diabolical things. He's not just talking that big game, talking spicy. Yeah. Like he's actually doing things. He knows how to make things happen in a way yes. that Trump never did. Yes. And the like, one thing he, is, like, he's not likable in exactly. the way that Trump is. Even he's not though, charismatic at all. Yeah, yeah. He's doing all the Trump things and, and then some, but people still, like, aren't excited like they yeah. are for Trump. Yeah. He doesn't have fans. Like, people aren't wearing um, Ronda merch. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I, I don't he's know still either. a terrifying individual. Yeah. So. Either way, it's scary <sighs> fucking I just, scary like, shit. I wish bad things would happen to bad people. Yeah. Like, where is this karma shit I, I've been hearing about? Like, where it at? <laughs> no. Where it at? Where you at, karma? <clears throat> mm-hmm. um, because yeah, where's these men are Rhonda's running sinkhole? rogue. Yeah. What did you say? I'm sorry. <laughs> where's Rhonda's sinkhole? Yeah. Just like, they, can a gator Florida? just get him? <laughs> Come <laughs> <Please>. on. <laughs> he also just like lost Florida like a billion dollars worth of development. Yeah, so yeah. that was like a big shakeup at work uh, two weeks ago. Disney's not moving to Florida anymore, mm-hmm. and they yeah they're they're pulling their people out. They're paying for their relocation back to the West Coast. It's it's a huge loss for the state, a yeah. massive massive loss. But he doesn't care. Like he's he's not like Trump where he needs to be loved. Yeah. Literally, yeah, he doesn't care what people think about him. Not, which not is, one bit. Yeah, which is part of the reason why I don't think he's going to win the primaries in the way that Trump would. Because Trump <clears throat> is so hyper-focused on, um, like, his image. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, that's, how, that's not actually what we're here to talk about yeah. today. <laughs> um, Thankfully. Yeah. yeah, we're actually here... Um, because we're making a really big announcement. We've done uh, quite a bit of like soul searching yes. yeah, in the past couple of months and have decided to make a very big change to the way this podcast is going to move forward. Uh, Stephanie yeah. and I are going to take a, a we're going to go on sabbatical. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> 
Um, we need we need a little bit of a break, so we're going to take a six month minimum sabbatical and then sort of reevaluate where we are in six months and see if we're willing to come back then or if we need a full year yeah. before we're able to really dive back into the podcast in the way that we think that the podcast deserves to be. Absolutely. Yeah, we are definitely coming back. I don't want people to worry. We had a Patreon. We recorded a Patreon video, video last weekend um, giving the news to our supporters first. We're coming back. We just there's so much going on in our personal lives, in mm -hmm. our um, professional lives. It's just it the timing is bad. And it's, it was not a decision made in haste. It was something that we both had to wrestle with. Yeah, we love doing <clears throat> the show. Like I, I can just speak for myself. I love doing this show. I love yeah. being a nerd. <laughs> and having <laughs> this, yeah. this time to um, research something that I'm interested in, something that has, um, I think, relevance to the world that we're living in now. And I get to hang out with Tux um, yeah. virtually, which isn't the same <laughs> as in person, but it's something. So I'm really going to miss that. But yeah. um, we want to be able to focus on it the way that we had previously. This year, there's just been so many spinning plates in both Absolutely. of our lives. And we've shared some of it, most of it, actually. Like, you guys, this this shouldn't really be a huge shock. Maybe it is. <laughs> um, but Tux is renovating a gorgeous house, a house I was just at last weekend <laughs> for Tux's 40th birthday. Mm -hmm. um, and it is no small feat. Um, I am traveling. I am, I mean, my fucking work is crazy. Um, yeah, it's just... There's a lot on both of our plates right now. Yeah, it's not, you know, it's not just the house. It's not just the traveling. No. There's also like a lot of professional upheaval and yes. unknowns and all sorts of things that that need to be figured out and loose ends that need to be tied up. And we both have felt like this past season, as much as we have loved this past season and think we've been doing a great job, especially considering the circumstances we've been doing the this this past season under yeah doing it remotely and doing it from other countries at weird hours there's been recordings where it's been like three o'clock in the morning for stephanie yeah. and you know what i mean <clears throat> we have been trying to put out the best show possible and it's been really hard and i do yeah. think as much as we tried not to let this happen i do think that some of the episodes have suffered a little bit yeah i agree Just, you know, I think the stories are still solid, but like the energy level and the totally. the, the humor and the fun yeah. in it has sort of, you know, been a little low energy in a way that we think is, you know, that's, this is not the way we want to do this show. We did the best we, we've done and we will continue to do the best that we can. But I Absolutely. think it just makes sense to take a break, to regroup, Absolutely. get back on solid footing and come back. Um, this Swing is also in. five years that we've been doing <laughs> yes. the show for five years without a break. In yeah, five without years. that's true. In many podcasts, like we have lots of pod friends, as you you guys all know, um, they take breaks, extended breaks, not just summer mm -hmm. breaks throughout the year, yeah. and we haven't really done that. Even um, when we do take our you know our summer breaks, we're still sort of working through them because yeah. we're still posting on social media. We're doing our summer break re releases. Um, yeah. And so it's still like it has never really felt like we've had wouldn't completely been able to just sort of step away from it for any extended period of time. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> as much as we love the show and we love you guys, our 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 fans and our audience, it's going to be really refreshing to be able to just sort yeah. of have a break. Yeah. But you know. Like like Stephanie is saying, we're definitely going to be back. Don't yeah, worry. We're going we're back. Going I have so many great stories. Same. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I want to do. Well, I think I've already said multiple times on this podcast that J. Edgar Hoover is mine. Um, <laughs> yes. I yeah. I want to do. Th yeah. There's just so many stories that I want to do that are on my list. So I'm excited <laughs> for our next season. Whenever it starts, it's going to yeah, be really absolutely. good. 
Yeah. And just so you know, too, this is not the end of the season. This episode, yes. um, we're releasing this right now just because there was an extra there was an extra week in May just because of the way the calendar worked out. So we thought that this would be a good time to sort of let you know in advance that this coming month, these next two full episodes and next two mini-sodes that will be coming in June will be uh, the last episodes of season five. Um, but we will be back with a season six eventually. <laughs> yes. I think now is time to take a, a, a little break. Oh, yes, a break. And we'll be right back. All right. Uh, what else do we want to talk about? I totally <laughs> forgot about the break. Good on yeah. you for remembering. Shit. I'm Natalie. And I'm Cass. And we're the hosts of Shared History. A comedic history podcast exploring the stories of the often overlooked or underrepresented. The people and events your history books may have glossed over, whitewashed, manwashed, or left out completely. From the Mayan creation myth to the deaf president now movement of the 1980s. From ancient scientist Avicenna to first female principal chief of the Cherokee Nation, Wilma Mankiller. If you saw it in a footnote once. Or have never heard of it. We are here to share it with you. Join us in a rotating guest list featuring scholars, writers, teachers, entertainers, entrepreneurs, subject matter experts, and more. Tune in to Shared History on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, you know the drill. And follow us at Shared Pod on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, share you later. Okay, we're back yes. from our little break. Um, but yeah, we just felt like this was a you know this was an important decision uh, that's been weighing on us for a long time, and we we should let everyone know that this is what's going to happen. But we will definitely be back. Don't don't worry. Um, we're not going to be doing a uh, set of summer break re releases again this year. Um, but after this next month, after June. We're going to go on an extended, uh, undetermined break. Yes. Yeah. We'll still be on Instagram. We'll be posting a little bit, um, maybe just stories or something. Yeah. But I encourage you all to follow us individually because we're we are somewhat active. I'm too active, I think, on Instagram. I go in waves where I'm just posting memes for a good 72 hours and then i just sit here for like <laughs> two and a half three three weeks yeah um i'm constantly posting updates on my house if anyone yes. is not following my my personal or my house uh instagram account it's detroit duplex um there this house is a constant <laughs> like it it never stops the work never stops is just when I think that something is finished, there's something else to do. There's like when one project is finished, there's four more lining up behind it. Like mountain, me next, me next. Yeah. But you've made such progress. It's really yeah. so beautiful. It's it's really come together. Thank you. Thank you. Um Yeah, today I was upstairs priming ceilings and and walls, getting ready to paint some bedrooms upstairs and like completely forgot that we were supposed to be recording this mini. <laughs> Stephanie texted me like, whenever you're going to record? And I'm like, Oh my God, I'm covered in primer. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. But you'll, you'll have time to focus on. Yes. Continue to focus on the house and all of the things that it needs. Absolutely. Um, I will be traveling this summer. I will be in Albania and Italy and probably a few other places my cousins want to meet up in Germany this fall at some point. So I'll probably finally see Berlin. <laughs> That's only, so exciting. The only part of Germany I think I'm going to like. <laughs> um, <laughs> Berlin looking, is a really cool city. For yeah, sure. I'm looking forward to that. I've I've met great people from Berlin that are all so shocked that I've never been there. They're like, oh, when I tell them that I, I primarily stay in Frankfurt, they give me a look of like, like sadness. Why? Yeah. yeah. 
They're like that. Especially kind of looks- if if you love history, Berlin is such a great city. Yeah. There's so much history. Like just everywhere you look, there's monuments to the things that have happened there. Like there's museums everywhere. It's such a cool city. I think I've been put off by Germany because all of my family there, I mean, they're, they're German, so they speak the language. And I like, I don't know a lick of German, like at all. Mm-hmm. And that's really yeah. hard for me. Sure. And I've been told Berlin, everyone speaks English. And I know that everyone to be true. Speaks English in Berlin. You do not need to know German. But German is just like so, so fucking foreign. Mm-hmm. Like we, having lived in New York for so long, we pick up Spanish and you've worked in restaurants. Like mm-hmm. Italian's very similar to Spanish. Like there are words that you can, you know, you can pick out when people talk. But with German, it's like, it, it's, yeah. It sounds like, it, yeah. It's so foreign. And the yeah. words are all like this long. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I know people can't see my this hands, but, long. <laughs> but I'm like, it's like two, the words are like two lines long, it yeah. seems. And they're all consonants and I just can't. Um, so that's why, that's part of the reason why I haven't really explored Germany, but I'm looking forward to seeing Berlin this summer. Yeah. And just dedicating myself to rededicating myself to learning UX, which is something that I really like doing, Mm -hmm. but I've just had to put it on the back burner with things happening at work and just, yeah, all of the changes there. I have not had time to focus on it like I really want to. So I'm looking forward to doing that as well this summer. Yeah. I think both of us are like looking for some changes in our professional lives as well as our personal lives. So yes. This yeah. this is a, a really necessary break for us, but we're going to um, put our Patreon for those of you who yes. follow us or support us on Patreon, but haven't watched our most recent video yet. Uh, we are going to put our Patreon on pause so you can still support us and you can still be a Patreon supporter. But while we're not putting out new content, you won't be charged for um, being a Patreon supporter yeah. during that break. But even if you, uh, even though we're putting, st- you know, putting a pause on our Patreon, if you want to support us, that's a great way to do it. You should yeah. still do it yes. for real. Yeah. Do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I am looking forward to taking time away, but I know I'm going to miss it. I really, I know, I, I know I, that I am. Yeah. Yeah. As you know, I'm <laughs> definitely going to miss the, the stories that we learn on the show and like the as much as it is difficult to research and write these stories and sometimes it is just emotionally draining yeah. when these stories are oh particularly heavy it's also like it is really entertaining to to like learn new things yeah as as two people who are like history nerds it's a very fun thing to do in your free time and it's also like, like Stephanie said earlier, this is our like hangout time too, yeah. you know? And I hope that everyone can sort of feel that when they listen to the show, like how much we enjoy what we're doing. Yeah. I think we're going to have to have like a, I don't know, cocktail hour, like once a month or something just to like e-hang. <laughs> mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, But yeah, we will be back. Don't you worry your pretty little heads. <laughs> yeah, and like we said, this is this is not the end. There's still another month to come. So tune in next week and there will be another amazing story from American history coming at you. So get ready. Get ready for the last month of season five because it's going to be a great one. It's a pride month. Exactly. Yes, I'm very excited about my next story. Did you hear that sh- about that show with Target? How they're, they're, they're like... like pulling- yeah, or at least they're they're pushing their their retail space to the back, like the queer space to the back of the store. I'm like, wow, you guys aren't even pretending. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if it's every if they're doing it everywhere or if it's just in certain states that they're doing that. But either way, it's ridiculous. Yeah, <sighs> it's Wait trash. On. It's just like we thought. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Just as I thought. Yeah. I mean, America. Imagine. 
We're really uh, not okay, y'all. <laughs> we're really we're really struggling right now. It's not all bad. There's there's lots of you know positive things happening, but like there's a lot of loud and wrong happening right now. One hundred percent. Oh yeah. my god! I'm so excited to have moved to Michigan when I did though, because Truly. there's so much good stuff happening in Michigan yeah. right now. Yeah, Eric Adams, dumbass. Oh my god, fat head! I hate him so much. <laughs> My mom is just like, oh, do people like him? I'm like, do people like the cops? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's he's the worst. He's like ruining New York City right now, single handedly. Yeah. He can't uh, ruin the city, but he's gonna try. I mean, yes, Giuliani exactly. tried. It's fine. He's he's not gonna get another term. But this has already been like I was sick of him day one. Like I was over Absolutely. him. Yeah. Um. Oh, I hate him so much. <laughs> <laughs> well i think we should probably wrap this up yeah um but thanks everyone for tuning in and i hope that you understand where we're coming from and and appreciate like the amount of time and effort and research and work that goes into making this show what it needs to be and the fact that we just don't want to be putting out a subpar product because yeah. we know how good the show can be yeah. when we have the time and energy and exactly headspace to devote mm -hmm. to it yeah um but yeah see you next week yeah <laughs> bye guys all right uh yeah we're not drinking anything so yeah <laughs> all right that's it that's it <laughs> all right Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you for listening to Beyond Reproach. Please note we are not historians. We are just a couple of drunks who never shut up and love history. A full list of all source information can be found in the show notes on our website. Please take a moment to rate, review, and subscribe. Written reviews are especially important. If you like us, please do one of two things. Leave us a written review on Apple Podcasts or send this episode to a friend, family member, or someone who you think would be into it. Don't forget to follow us on social media and make sure you follow us on Instagram because we post our cocktail recipes the Thursday before each full episode. Please drink along with us if you are not driving. We also have a shop on beyondreproachpod.com. Get your merch, brand yourselves. We also have exclusive content on Patreon where you can directly support the production of our show.